Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's Curtis Hyde with Colorado Computer Support, and thanks for hanging out with me, as always, for this week's Tuesday Tech Tip. Well, we're gonna talk about looking up a URL creation date and why that could be helpful and important to you to keep you safe. So I received this email the other day, uh, and it was a, a, a it looks like a city that is asking for IT proposal uh, a needs. So the first thing I looked at when I received this email is the unusual last part where a city email address ends with a .org. Typically, a city is going to end with .gov because they are a government entity as far as being a city. So that's the first red flag I noticed. So I did a little bit of research. So what I did is I took that URL, and if you Google URL lookup, I typically use the same place called ICANN. If I drop that URL inside of there and hit search, it'll show me that that URL was just created in April of this year. I'm sure that city has been around a lot longer than April of this year, so that was the first fishy component of, of why I think this is a fake or a fish that someone sent me. Now, another thing I did was I cross-referenced this to their staff directory, which is right here. They have the name right, they have the, uh, the, the title of the person right, but they don't have the email address correctly from the staff directory shows, which is right here. So you can see that these are all components of how I'm doing research to, to see what is happening with this fish that was sent to me. And the last thing you can do with ICANN is check where it was registered. So let me show you on Google Maps, which is this location. That is where the registration happened for that URL. That's where that person bought it sits. As you can see, they are nowhere near that town in Massachusetts. So this obviously is a lot of checklists I went through to show and solve for the fact that this is a fake email of someone phishing us, trying to get some information from us. Uh, and there's just some ways you can do some reference checks for yourself just to see if you're interacting with a secure, safe email address that someone sends to you. So as always, if you have any questions, concerns, want to learn more, or if you have any IT problems that keep poking you in the side every day, CCS would love to chat with you, see if we're potentially a good fit to help you out. If you'd like to chat, feel free to give us a call, 719-439-0599, or feel free to reach out to us on the web at www coloradosupport.com. Thanks as always for hanging out with me. I'll see you next week and have a fantastic rest of your day.